Muslim, thank you so much for being with us today You're to share uh, more information with us. Uh, could you just um, give us a brief introduction about yourself? Oh, uh, I'm a uh, consultant plastic surgeon. I still hold uh, an academic position in the Yong Lulin School of Medicine at the MUS, so I'm adjunct associate professor. And I also founded, I'm um, founding director of a uh, Singapore based uh, biotechnology company called Cell Research Corporation. At the current time, uh, experimentally, we've been using the cells to salvage uh, cardiac failure, and that's been uh, successful. We have converted these cells into something called induced pluripotent stem cells. This was a Nobel Prize winning technology from 2012. And uh, using this technology, we have a Professor Lim Ka Leong, uh, who is currently at the uh, Lee Kong Chen School, who is using these cells to uh, generate dopamine producing cells for the treatment of Parkinson's disease, which you might have heard of. And uh, one of his colleagues, uh, Dr. Su Sin Yi, who's an eye surgeon at the National University Hospital, is using these cells to generate uh, retinal pigmented epithelium, which is the lining cells of the back of the eye, uh, of the retina, uh, which can uh, convert light signals into brain signals to tell us what we're looking at. This is for the treatment of age-related macular degeneration. Uh, we're also looking at orthopedic um, uh, angles to heal osteoarthritis, uh, in addition to which uh, we have uh, shown that application of these to the skin can actually uh, stimulate increased production of hyaluronic acid and elastin, which can actually make the skin look a bit younger. Right, I'm sure mothers would love that very much. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, so um, are there any, is there any current research that's happening um, you know, for future applications of stem cells? Uh, currently, lots of research, as the ones I've mentioned before. Uh, uh, we are looking at the utility of these uh, stem cell protein exosomes, as we call them, on uh, hair regeneration. That's one arm which is going on. We have established that skin works very, very well. Uh, we are still working on, uh, you know, orthopedic issues, but we're also in discussions with various groups in America for the using uh, our mesenchymal stem cells to treat acute respiratory distress syndrome, uh, which is the lung failure secondary to COVID-19 infection. So this is something which is happening uh, in uh, stateside in America. Uh, other avenues of research we're looking at uh, will include generation of uh, cord blood stem cells. We can use our stem cells as a feeder layer, we call it, to generate cord, uh, to increase the number of cord blood uh, stem cells, so-called hematopoietic stem cells. Uh, we're also using the cells to generate insulin uh, for the treatment of diabetes. Um, and uh, certainly one of the other interesting avenues um, uh, is the directed injection of mesenchymal stem cells into failing heart tissue. So that's something else which we're going to be uh, developing over the course of the next few years. Thank you, Dr. Lim, for being with us.